Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today we have a special piece of technology. Especially if you're depressed and feeling the blues, we have some therapy for you, as they say. All right, so it's a therapy light, obviously, right? Um, it's about the size of an average iPad, actually. So not that big. It does have an adjustable stand. It can go portrait or landscape. Sorry, injured, can't really twist that around too easily. But it does only plug into the wall too, so do not be misled in any way. You cannot use USB power with this. Um, it does have to plug into an actual wall socket. One guy wasn't quite sure because they're like, well, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because it doesn't plug into the USB and they weren't really that clear on their website. I'm thinking, hello, look at the pictures. It's all there, right? And um, anyways, so, but otherwise I guess he liked it. A lot of other people love this thing too. On the Canadian website, there's like 62 reviews, average of four and a half out of five. I will stand behind that particular rating myself, okay? All right, so let's continue on. So we've got 10,000 lux brightness, okay? Um, and it simulates natural daylight at 6,500K. It's like, okay, so the lux is 10,000, the K is 65. Okay, I'll, I'll just play along, all right? Um, brightness level is from 20% to 100%. Of course, we do have the adjustable stand, like I mentioned. Can be used in the home, in the office, out in your workshop to light up subjects more. In your living room, if you have blackout blinds like we do, and it can get pretty, oh, dark in here. It's like midnight, and it's like daylight outside, but it's midnight in the house. I love blackout blinds, man. I can watch my TV without reflections anymore. Anyways, we do have a timer function, too. So if you press and hold, when you go to turn this little puppy on, for a couple of seconds, and then you let go, you'll see that a little light pulses. That's your 30 minute timer. And if you press and hold again, for a few seconds, ta-da, like magic, you have no light lit anymore. Timer has been canceled. Now, if you, you've got the plus and minus buttons here, down below. So if we go on to the minus and just hold our fingertip there, Pick a fingertip, it's your choice. Um, it'll just go down to that 20% range and that's it. Okay, that's the lowest. Or you can kind of increment it the way you want it, uh, right up to 100% for full brightness. I'm all for power, so I like 100%. What I like about this is I can have this thing sitting here on my desk, kind of just move it a little bit out of my eyeball view. Um, so if I turn it off here, of course our camera will come back to normal. I'm looking at my screen, I've got my cam, my webcam going on my Mac here, and uh, I see that the color is a little bit washed out, and it could use a bit of a cleanup, right? So if I turn this thing on, voila, I get more brightness, it's not so washed out, um, removes a lot more of that grain, I can rotate it more toward me until I'm kind of happy with where the angle sits, this way it's not, you know, bugging my eyes really and it brightens up my picture because see all cameras are dependent on light and of course with this it's kind of blinding my DSLR a little bit making my background pretty dark at least that's what I see in the viewfinder we'll see what the video shows in the end however um, to use this as kind of like even a, a bit of a studio light situation in, in a darker area you want to be in a darker area you want to cut like a different kind of a video atmosphere this could come in pretty handy for that sort of thing right you could just point it to the wall and you know blast up your wall with some extra lighting which will reflect back in and give you that kind of I don't know mood you're going for with your video kind of thing works or for pay, taking pictures in darker areas um, you can kind of really get some nice accent shadowing and stuff going this thing is pretty neat um, so even though they call it a therapy light it's actually um, can cheer you up in many ways it can help you out with other things right uh, there was one review I read, guy uses it in his shop, works great. It's like, cool, I got a shop outside of my own too, right? I just added some flood lamps in to go boom at my table. And I can still use some extra little bit of lighting at the table in some other areas. So that could, this could work for that, right? Um, I could use this out in the living room where my other big desk is. It holds like three other Mac computers, old vintage ones. Um, but I also have room on that table. If I push stuff back, I can work on my guitars there. Give myself some extra lighting, especially if I'm working on guitars at night. I can't just open the door and get light because it's, I live in the country. It's like midnight outside, right? It's like, you don't see your hand in front of your face. Um, it's wonderful living out here. Um, 
But uh, during the daytime, of course, I could open my door and I wouldn't need this. Or maybe I still might need it if I need a little bit of extra lighting somewhere. This can come in handy for multi-purposes. So even though they market this as a, this can help you with your depression, um, which one lady says, I still feel depressed. It's like, well, maybe you need more than just the light, I'm thinking, right? Like, it's possible, right? Um, we all get depressed from time to time. I get it, especially in the last couple of years with that pandemic, right? It's like, what are we going to do? We can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. It gets depressing. Um, but uh, anyways, now I have a lot of free time on my hands because of this injury. So it's kind of like, well, what am I going to do in here? And, what can I have some fun with? What can I do more videos for you guys for? So I'm shopping around for tech right now. Um, so, because I can't do music um, till this thing's fixed. Um, so right now I'm shopping around for a lot of used tech, right? And thinking, all right, we can do some tech videos for you guys. And this is something that's a current selling product. And for 30 bucks US, I think it's a pretty good idea, right? Good price, good light. Like I said, I'm in for the four and a half out of five. I agree. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, for, for about 30, I, I'd say it's probably going to be about 35 bucks Canadian. I mean, if we did a quick little search here, um, just to give you a, a, an idea of what you're going to pay on Amazon.ca. So $29.99 USD to CND. So we're only looking at about 40 bucks Canadian, right? Wow. Is our dollar that sucky right now? Apparently it is. Um, okay, so we're almost ten dollars difference there within a penny. Um, so yeah, so about forty bucks. Now I th I think that forty bucks is not a bad price for what you're getting. You know, it's a full panel. You know, it's going to give you that extra lighting and lots of it. You can dim it down at, at a just by touching and holding. You know, which is nice. So you can kind of set the mood for whatever room you're in. You know, um, if we go plus all the way here, now I do have all my um, green LEDs turned on that are actually green colored right now. They go to any color I want, but if I turn the light off here, um, I can see that I'm going to definitely get, um, you know, some good lighting in here. So if I turn this off, so this is the kind of picture we're going to get. Uh, with my current green LED lighting on, my, my Mac computer's on. You can see it's got kind of like a green picture in there. Uh, my computer behind me. Um, but we turn it back on, of course, and everything changes. And now I can actually cut a video in here and get some pretty good lighting, even at my laptop here. Um, it's a pretty decent looking picture. So I can sit in here and just have my LED lights on and nice little bit of darkness and still do a video on my laptop and this gives me enough assisted lighting that I can even turn this around and it's as if my lights in, in the room are on and they're not. So, uh, but it does blind this camera pretty good. Anyways, um, so that's kind of where I'm at with it. I'll provide you guys with the links down below um, in the description for Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. Now, currently, um, of course, Amazon.ca is out of stock, so you can buy it from Amazon.com if you live in Canada and have it shipped to you. It's it's going to cost you that extra ten bucks, but whoopee ding, right? Uh, but you got to figure thirty dollars U.S. as it is is forty dollars, and then of course their duty fees are in U.S. dollars, so there's another whatever ten dollars turns out to be in Canadian. So it could cost you a little bit more actually to get this thing shipped into you. But it's whether or not it's worth it to you. I mean, there are a multitude of other choices in Canada for therapy lights that are not like this model. They're similar, but if you're after this specific model, well, then you either wait till it comes back in stock in Canada or you go buy it from the usamazon.com website and you can have this kind of like now kind of thing, right? You don't have to wait. <coughs> it's your choice. But I think that, you know, for considering in Canada, it would be that around that $40 price range. I think that's actually not bad price for what we're getting here. Okay. It is decent. Now, it'd be kind of cool if they did actually do this in black, but you get the idea that it has to be white anyways, because it's a reflective thing. And the white casing is going to help reflect the, the light more too. Black wouldn't do that for you. It would actually make it a more of a, a focal point thing where instead of spreading the spectrum out, it would actually condense it if this was actually black casing. So, you know, it's kind of the way they do white for a reason. Um, same as they do for pretty much all of these things. 
Uh, there's a reason why they are the color that they are for the casings. So, with that being said and noted, um, I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with me, and hopefully I can do a lot more tech stuff in the next little bit. I'm back in North Bay again tomorrow, because um, i got to get some other stuff stuff re-x-rayed on this thing but while I'm there I'm going to go stop in a value village see if I can find some more cheap techie stuff maybe I'll check out the dollar store see if we can find some cheap junk to buy and do some reviews on that stuff and see if it's any good or not because sometimes you can get good stuff out of the dollar stores too right sometimes well you just can't so <laughs> you take your chances but anyway in the meantime go check this one out on Amazon um, you've seen it here you've seen me demo it here uh, take a look, read up all the, the sp full specs on their website. Keep in mind you, you have to plug this into a wall socket, okay? You cannot plug it into USB powered because it's not USB powered, okay? Um, that's one thing to, to make sure to, to let you guys know because one chap felt misled, I guess, because he assumed it would run on USB or wall and, you know, a lot of stuff is going that way, you know, where even my studio lights, it's a USB plug, and it's like they didn't tell you you had to buy a bunch of chargers. Good thing I had some, right? Um, and you have to have at least a two amp or higher level charger to power the suckers because they suck up a lot of juice. Um, but this thing, rest assured, it is only plug in the wall. So if you're like you have an RV trailer, for example, and you're going to use it in there, you got to have hydro coming into your wall sockets to plug this in and use it. Um, power inverter in a car or you know a truck with a power inverter that converts 12 volt to 120 we have an inverter in our car uh, for a multitude of reasons um, I can plug it in test it in there you, or use it in there whatever right kind of thing so there's that but it has to be a wall socket so just keep that in mind anyway that's it that's all we're done thanks again for stopping in and checking out the video and hopefully the humor found some people getting a little bit more laughter um and uh, we'll see you in the next one ciao